So what's up guys, my name's Ash and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. I hope you're all doing great. Uh, I am sorry for not uploading recently. I do have a pretty good excuse, uh, but I do seem to have excuses every week. So it's uh, understandable if you're starting to think I just don't want to upload anymore. But honestly, I've been really ill this week. I've just been getting over a head cold. Uh, I've been hungover from like a Saturday party. I had to play 25 games of foot champs on a Sunday, which actually turned out really well like I'm going to explain in a minute. Anyways guys, let's cut to the chase. We managed to hit Elite 2 in Foot Champions, where we couldn't even hit Elite last week, so we've gone up like 5 wins within 1 week, and I'm going to be revealing my secrets to you guys on how you can do the same. Well, they're not really secrets, more like uh, tips. And somehow, on a day where I was playing 25 matches, which is completely unheard of for me, I rarely play even 10 a day, if I'm being honest with you. Well, I do sometimes on the weekends when I'm playing foot champs, but never ever near that amount. Like, that's just absurd to me. Uh, we also came up against a professional player at the same time while I was playing that many games and I was tired, and we somehow managed to beat him. So you're going to be seeing that in the video as well. It was quite funny, actually. If I recall correctly, he actually finished first in the world for a weekend in FIFA 18, and uh, he just got verified for foot champions recently. Recently, so he's definitely a top player and uh, you know if I'm being honest I was uh, a little bit gassed when I beat him. Now the gameplay I can show you guys is very limited because I didn't actually record that many games this weekend. I mainly just have like a few goal highlights and funny moments from when like the goalkeepers mess up and stuff but uh, this weekend I'm gonna try my best to record every single game and like put them in like separate files and stuff so I know which game is which and like compile them into a video where I show you guys a recap of my whole weekend league. Uh, I might do like two separate videos like games 1 to 15 and games 15 to 30 or I could do three separate ones whichever works out best depending on you know how long the videos are. But uh, yeah the first few bits of footage you're seeing are from my first couple of games in the weekend league. These are ones that I actually played on I think it was Friday I'm pretty sure it was and uh, I kid you not guys it was absolutely awful like the servers I've never seen anything like it. It was terrible. Um, I just did not want to play. Like I could have played most of my games on a Friday before I went out on the Saturday. But honestly, I stopped at like four or five wins because it was it was terrible. Like passes took like a good two seconds to leave your boot. Like I don't know. You, I don't know if you can tell from this gameplay, but I wasn't playing up to scratch. I couldn't pass properly, and this guy that I was playing against wasn't really good either. It was just. It just wouldn't do anything when I wanted it to. It was just taking forever. Like there, you can see he just did not get the like he did not get the pass off in time. So most of you that have clicked on this video will probably be wondering how you can go from like gold one to elite or how you can get yourself a few extra wins in a weekend just by you know following some simple tips and that's what I'm gonna give to you guys now. Now the first main tip I can give you guys to to improve your record and improve your wins is to just stay composed in any game no matter what the circumstances is if you concede a really bad goal if you miss a penalty if you get a red card if a game's not going your way just stay calm because that is the best thing i can tell you guys if you stay calm you're playing your best FIFA. Like, if you're angry, if you're getting annoyed, you're rushing passes, you're raging, you're slide tackling when you don't need to, you're getting really aggressive, you're not focusing properly, and honestly, it's really not good for your gameplay. Like you can see in this game here, I just conceded a goal from kickoff after I'd been working all half to break through my opponent. So I could have got really angry, I could have threw my controller, I could have gave up, I could have started rage sliding, but I didn't. I just stuck at the game and I ended up winning it because I stayed calm and composed and uh, yeah, that's how you win games this year. The more calm you stay and the more composure you have is the more wins you're going to get in a weekend. Like, I promise you that because if you can stay calm and you don't let a like stupid event in a game bother you, you know, your gameplay is not going to change and you're going to probably beat your opponent if you're better than them because you're not going to let a stupid goal get the better of you. Like, if you're getting angry and you start sliding and, you know, running at them with one player and just getting tackled all the time and getting annoyed, you know, you're not going to win the game, are you? Another huge tip I have for you guys is to just relax. Like, honestly, I went into the weekend league on Sunday 
not really care, and I just wanted to play my games, you know, and get some rewards. I didn't really care if I got gold 3 or gold 1. I swear to you guys, I really did not mind. And I just played, you know, calmly, and I was just relaxing. I had, like, my feet up at one point, so I wasn't really... You know, I wasn't really trying that hard. I was trying, but I was relaxed about it. You know, if I conceded a goal, I was like, whatever. You know, I just want to get through my games because I had so many of them. And believe it or not, if you stay relaxed and you're not nervous, you know, you're going to win more games as well because... If your opponent's all nervous and stuff, he's going to start making mistakes because a lot of people get stressed in the weekend league, you know, they really want to win and stuff, and I can understand that. But if you guys just stay relaxed and just play your own game and not really think about it, you know, you'll find yourself coming off better than, you know, some of your opponents because you're not overthinking everything and you're just playing how you want to play. I also suggest playing at non-peak hours. And what I mean by this is if you're playing your weekend league games, I don't really suggest playing them on like a Friday or a Saturday like in the afternoon or whatever if you're gonna play it on that time play it at like early in the morning or play it late at night because that's when there's gonna be less people uh, on the game and if there's less people on the game the servers aren't as like you know clogged and there's not as much traffic so you're gonna experience less delay and the gameplay is gonna feel a lot more smooth for you guys most of the time that is I think you'll even find that if you lose without delay, you don't get as frustrated as if you lose with it, you know what I mean? Like when you lose with delay, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so much better than this guy, this is really annoying me, you know, I should have won this game, screw you EA, your servers are terrible, but if the servers are good and there's not a lot of delay in the game, and you lose fairly to your opponent, you actually think, you know what, fair enough, you beat me. Well, that's me anyway, you know, I don't really get as annoyed. I still get, like, frustrated sometimes, but uh, I don't find it as annoying because the gameplay was actually pretty good as a whole. So, yeah, playing at non-peak times will definitely allow you to play your best game because if you play with delay, you know, you're restricted with what you can do. You can't really skill your opponent. You're forced to play, like, a, a really sluggish style, and it's just not good. So try and play during non-peak times if you're that committed about your weekend league and you will notice that it's easier to play games and it's not as frustrating. Now next up is more of a gameplay tip and it is to learn timed finishing and I'm not saying that you have to use this all the time when you're like inside the box and stuff. I mainly use it for just like finesse shots from outside the box or if I'm you know taking a volley or something. Honestly guys timed finesse shots will just save you so many times and will score you so many goals like I promise you that. I have a tutorial on it if you guys haven't seen it already and would like to learn it. It's not that difficult at all and will get you so many more goals goals and wins in a weekend like honestly it's super effective on that note guys i think it's also good to watch a lot of professional players like i was watching f2 techs and i was watching uh, some players from roma i can't remember his name but i was just like scrolling through twitch to watch some top 100 players and i was just trying to take things from their game and try and implement it to mine like i was seeing them doing like the running fake shot so i learned that in the practice arena and started using it in games and you know what it actually really helped me you know Quite a lot of the time it would beat the defender and give me a lot of space to just like run into the box and stuff. I would also like see that they were using heel to heel flicks, something that I haven't used since last year. So I've started using them a bit more. Uh, drag backs is another thing that I see them using. I've done that as well, like I've implemented that. They also do that thing where you flick it up for volleys. So there's definitely a lot of things that you can learn from professional players that will help you in so many of your games. Like I'm not even exaggerating here. Just watch some people at F2 Techs. He's a, like probably the best player uh, on FIFA 19 right now. And you will just learn things, you know. You'll just be like, you know what, I could do that, you know. And then you do it and you score goals. It's also extremely important to know what style you play and to really use that to your advantage. Like, I'm quite a patient player. Like, I'm patient in defense. I'm patient in offense. But at the same time, I like to be able to surprise opponents by, you know, performing a quick counter attack. That's why I use the 4 2 3 one, for example, and I've had a video explaining, you know, what I use in that and why I think it's the best formation. But, you know, I love to play very unpredictable. So, for me, using a formation like the 4 2 3 one, where it enables me to play quickly or slowly or defend or just attack all the time, you know, I find that really useful and it gets me a lot of wins because I can just change up what I'm doing all the time and my opponent can never really grasp what I'm going to do and when I'm going to do it because I'm always changing it. Like, if I was to use a 4-1-2-1-2, I wouldn't be very good at that because I'm not very good 
at one thing specifically like that formation is very attacking based and I'm not very good at attacking straight down through the middle so I wouldn't perform very well with that and also I'm not extremely good at defending so I would also struggle with that formation so you know that formation wouldn't work for me but for example it might work for one of you guys if you love to play very attacking football and very direct you know so it, it all depends on preference doesn't it really. Now if you really want to get good at the game, the best thing you can do is practice and the best method of practice is division rivals because you're getting put up against people your own level which allows you to actually get better at the game because you need to, you know, work that little bit harder to actually win games, you know, it's a lot more difficult and if you can start winning games against people your level, well, technically you're getting better because you're better than people your level and you're getting put up against even tougher people then if you see what I mean. But when you're playing rivals, don't just play the game try and see where you're going wrong if you're losing games like try and see why you're conceding goals like did you leave a massive gap in your defense were you playing too narrow were you rushing play you know try and figure out what you were doing wrong so you can change that in your next games and you will see a big difference like honestly if you guys can figure out where you're going wrong and how your opponents are beating you and you can resolve that problem you're gonna start winning games because you're not gonna have that problem anymore like for example, up until last week I was playing with pressure in defence and that just didn't suit me and I figured that out by watching how I was conceding goals and my defenders were constantly getting dragged out of position and I was just thinking to myself, that's not what I want my defence to do, Like I don't want them to just run after them. So I changed it to balance and I started winning games. I went from like Division 3 uh, to Division 2 in like a couple of days just from that. So yeah, if you guys can learn to effectively analyse your own games, that's how you're going to really improve because nobody can tell you how to improve but you really. Like, I can't just say there's one specific way to improve because everybody has different things that they need to improve on. Like, some people need to improve their offence, some people need to improve their defence, some people need to improve, like, their passing options and stuff like that, you know? It's very player specific, so you guys really have to learn to, you know, analyse your, your own gameplay in a way. So they are some of the best ways to actually increase your win rate in the weekend league. There's obviously other things as well, such as moving the goalkeeper, but that's going to require like a full video for me to actually explain it. There's no point in me getting into it now because the video would just take far too long, like it'd be very long. But yeah, now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the game where I played against a professional player by the name of Matthias Overbeck, who is from Germany, I do believe, and he is a professional player for VFL Wolfsburg. So at the time that I matched up with him, I was currently like 18 and 2 in the weekend league, which is like a really good record in my opinion. Uh, I was actually only going for gold one at the time, um, but obviously when you're performing that well and you you know lost as very little games as that, it's hard not to aim for elite. So I was probably more likely aiming for Elite 3 at that point. But you can see his team is absolutely insane. He's got three icons, Player of the Month Hazard, he's got Kante, Pogba, Inform, Hernandez, Varane, Testegen, Stoichkov, Butcher Gueno, Varane. So he definitely outteams me, he has the advantage on that behalf. Um, but yeah, this was actually quite an interesting game because, uh, well yeah, you're going to see in a minute. So you can see from kickoff we went to my defensive tactic which I've talked about in previous videos in my 4-2-3-1 custom tactics uh, video. Uh, so we started off with the kickoff just looking for like an early breakthrough. I was really just testing his defense at this point just seeing if I could get like an early goal. And we do get into his box here and we do get close but the shot was dragged extremely wide by Dybala. If I'm being truthful I wasn't trying to score with that shot. I was looking for like a rebound into like a player in the box or something but uh, that obviously didn't happen. So I already knew from that like beginning like segment that I had a chance in this game because you know obviously I got I got through to his box but uh, I knew it was going to be a very difficult game especially if I was going to you know even win at this point I was just trying to make a game out of it and, and, and you know really make a statement to be honest with you. Now I just want to say guys I got very lucky in this game and I do not deny it in the slightest. I even reached out to him on Twitter and said so like I felt really bad for even winning this game because the manner in which I won it I don't think was completely fair but obviously I'm not going to throw away a win. I'm not going to score on goals and stuff because somebody deserved to win a game like you know nobody else would do that for me. So uh, you know obviously I had to go and win the game regardless of the situation but uh, I did get very fortunate like you can see already he's had a couple of good chances which he's failed to convert here um, so we do get let off the hook there but it was like a very back and forth game in the sense that it wasn't like 
you know, contested with lots of shots and stuff. It was mainly just like breaking through and then nothing would come from the attacks. Like it'd just get headed out or something. It was one of those games. Like as you can see there, Hazard got tackled. So it was quite a frustrating game on both halves because um, it was difficult to just create like clear cut chances and goal scoring opportunities. It was, it was very just like ping pong back and forth. You can see here he gets another chance with Hazard, it was a good save from Handanovic, but I was under a lot of pressure, especially early on in this game, but we do grow into it a bit more in the second half. I was struggling to deal with like these corners he was taking, where he'd just like dribble it into the box. Got very fortunate again there, it's like a recurring theme in this half, but uh, I was really just looking to like hold on and just get like a nice counter attack or something, because obviously this guy is way better than me as a professional player, and like I've said many times before, in like FIFA 18 and stuff, when you're playing against these types of players, you have to be a scumbag to win sometimes. And, you know, it's a shame that you have to do it. But, uh, you know, if I need to win a game, I need to win a game. So I was playing a bit defensive, but I feel like it was justified because he out-teamed me. He's a better player than me. And, I, you know, if I went straight at him, there was no way I was going to get a result out of the game. So uh, I think I made the right choice. Well, obviously, I made the right choice because uh, I won the game. But... Um, it doesn't mean to say I wasn't very lucky because I was and I'm not claiming to be better than this guy in the slightest because like I said he's a professional player finished first in the world and uh, yeah he's much better than me I just got very lucky again another good save from Handanovic the only arguments I can make about these uh, chances are that they're on his players weak foots but uh, yeah I don't really think you guys would be happy if I said that and I don't think Overbeck would be either but uh, yeah it was just very difficult for me to get out my own half and you know every time I felt like I tackled him and got the ball I just like pass it straight back to him and I couldn't really get out uh, at this point I was considering whether to leave my cams on like stay forward or something but I, I opted against it because I didn't want to change something while the game was still in a neutral you know a neutral point um, if I was losing the game I probably would have made my cam stay forward but uh, I didn't want to change anything while I was still in the game just cutting out some of like the gameplay beforehand because there wasn't a lot going on but you can see he gets another chance here with Pogba which is a good save by Handanovic again uh, it was straight at him and was on Pogba's weak foot but uh, yeah he probably should have scored that but you can see every time he gets like a corner I just struggle to tackle him and get the ball back and if I do tackle him he seems to get another corner but uh, look you can just see he seems to beat me with the uh, like or get that every single time that he pulls it off and uh, yeah it's just difficult so if I go and tackle him he just goes and passes it um, and if I don't tackle him, he'll just run straight at me. So it's one of those situations where I can't really win. Um, but you can see we do get out here. Uh, and we, we're looking like we can break on him here. And we do. Uh, we get uh, the ball up here with Mertens. And then we take a long shot. And he does make a good save there with De Stegen. That was probably like our best chance of the game with the finesse shot. You can see I timed it a bit late. And we didn't manage to you know, curl it into the corner. But I think he manually positioned his goalkeeper there to you know, save the corner. But we're starting to pile a bit of pressure on now. I've had a couple of chances. But uh, once again, every time I seem to get the ball in his half, he just tackles me and cuts it completely out and uh, is back on the attack. So yeah, hopefully you guys can see what I mean by a back and forth game. Not a lot was really happening. Um in terms of chances like he had quite a few chances at the beginning of the game but then it died down a bit but it, it just seemed to be like every time one of us would get on the edge of the area or summit our players would just get tackled and then it would go straight up to the other end but then you can see that was half time we did get completely outplayed here uh, we only had two shots in the entire half he had nine eight on target he should probably be about two or three goals up truth be told but yeah, quickly moving into the second half, not a lot really went on until about the 65th minute where uh, I managed to get the ball on the counter-attack and break with Dybala. Pass it to Perisic, uh, back to Florenzi, to Dybala, to Nyangalun, uh, to his defender. And the Tweedy hits like a nice driven pass there and we're just playing some nice quick passes into the timed finesse shot from Hazard and what a lovely goal that was. We skipped celebration uh, and, and, and this is what I mean by a very lucky game. Like All I've really done is hit a long shot you know I haven't really broke his defense down or anything I haven't really outplayed him I've just took a long shot and scored whereas he's missed 1v1s you know it's that's what I'm on about when I said I got lucky I don't really think it's that fair so he was probably very angry at this point but regardless we were 1-0 up and uh, that was a positive right because we were still winning the game which means we were going on to be like 19-2 and two at this point which was great and the the fact that I was able to beat this guy made it you know it gave me a lot of confidence in future games because I'm like if I'm gonna beat a professional player 
uh, I can beat anybody really, right? Anyway guys, not a lot happened in the second half until the end of the game when Overbeck gets an absolutely huge chance and gets completely EA'd here. Like, you can see he breaks really well. I, I went for a tactical foul, but it didn't really work. And uh, he gets the chance here, passes it uh, to Kante, to Sané. And wow, he missed it with his right foot. Now he sent me a replay and he aimed it directly in the corner of the goal. Like he didn't miss, the game missed for him. So I felt really bad because Sané really should be putting that in the corner. But regardless, we beat him 1-0 and uh, yeah. That's why you should use timed finishing, guys. But that's it for today's video. If you have enjoyed it or found it informative, I would appreciate it if you could drop it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one. And also be sure to comment down below what type of videos you want to see next because I'm always taking suggestions. But uh, yeah, with all that aside, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.